Stanford University. The Okrana Collection here at the Hoover Institution is a very rare collection of papers of the Imperial Russian secret police, so under the last czars up to the revolution of 1917. The Okrana happens to be the first intelligence agency spying on its own citizens abroad and the first of its kind to collect this kind of data, including visuals, including photographs. They're worried about political terrorism. They're especially worried about the royal family. There would be, in fact, in the first years of the 20th century, hundreds, thousands of assassinations carried out by these revolutionaries. The Russian government decided to form a branch of the imperial police inside the Russian embassy in Paris, secretly. What the collection includes in spades are all the mugshots sent from Russia. And there's also those surveillance letters of agents who are going around following individual revolutionaries. One of the real finds was this set of mugshots right here. This man is Lev Davidovich Bronstein. Uh, the man who would become known uh, to the world as Leon Trotsky. He wasn't yet Trotsky. The photo was taken in 1898 after he had been imprisoned for the first time. And this is Ivan Kalyaev. Uh, he's a revolutionary terrorist. It's February of 1905, and Kalyaev has just thrown a bomb into the passing carriage of the governor general of Moscow, instantly killing him. So he's arrested, and when he is, he's screaming, down with the Tsar, down with the Tsar. And what fascinated me about this particular set of mugshots is that they were clearly taken on the same day as the assassination. He's been stitched up here, uh, stitches here as well, and on the nose, bloodshot eyes. And I think one of, the, one of the fascinating clues here is the mustache with the right wing turned up and the left wing uh, turned down. Um, this is shortly after the crime has been committed, and he only has a few weeks to live. If you want to understand the Russian Revolution, how we get there, this collection is a gold mine of insights into the revolutionary movement. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.